Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash, double iron to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations, much love and respect to you, Akim, out there pushing this word out in truth and sincerity. This lesson is uh, going to be entitled Beetles and Roaches Are Not Lawful to Eat. Okay, Beetles and Roaches Are Not Lawful lawful to eat <clears throat> and we're going to go into uh, Leviticus the 11th chapter again here and we're going to deal with specifically creeping things okay uh, insects um, and, and break this down which just takes you know takes some research you know to kind of get into it because it does use the word beetles but we're going to go into it and to, to see exactly what that's talking about. And the fowls is a whole, that, that has to be a whole separate video <clears throat> dealing with the fowls. That's even more intricate than, than the, um, than uh, everything else. Okay. But let's deal with this. This is Leviticus 21, uh, Leviticus 11, excuse me, in verse 21. It said, it says, yet these May ye eat of every flying creeping thing that goeth upon all four. Now, when it says all four, it doesn't mean that they only have four legs, okay? Because they don't have four legs. They all have six legs, okay? So the all four is just a saying for, you know, those that are on, on all their legs, okay? They're on the floor. And they have all their legs on the floor, okay? <clears throat> and it says... Which, which when they handle things, right? When they handle, when they pick up things, they pick up things with their two front front uh, legs or hands, whatever you want to call it. So even when they pick up things, they're still at least on all f the other four legs that they have, okay? Because they use their front, their two front legs to pick up things, okay? It says, which have legs above their feet to leap with all upon the earth. So they have legs... Right, which is jointed legs, because when you go into the the the, the, NI, the the NLT, it says jointed legs. Okay, now what are jointed legs? Okay, these are the legs that these grasshoppers have. Let's go to jointed legs. Okay. <clears throat> uh, well, not just grasshoppers, but it's basically, you know, not just. Excuse me. It's not just grasshoppers. I apologize. It says, um, "Athropod." The word "athropod" from the Greek root words "athro," meaning joint, and "pod," meaning foot, refers to a unique feature of the group jointed legs called appendages, which uh, vary widely in number and function. Appendages are used for eating. Uh, feeling, sensing, mating, res uh, respiring, walking, or defense. Okay, this is what Esau is saying, right? We're, we know it's not these kind of legs, right? But you know, the jointed legs. Let me, let me, let me, let me show you something. Let me type in. Let me look up the word joints or jointed. Let me look up the word jointed. Jointed meeting. Okay. <clears throat> Having a place or places where two things are fastened together. <clears throat> now, when you look at, let me pull up a grasshopper. Okay, because, you know, these these also have jointed legs. See how they're, if you, if you can look closely at the scorpion, it goes like this and it curves and it, it meets here. Right? So this would be the joint. And then it comes here and it and it meets here. So this would be another joint. Okay. So, you know, that would be the joints. But a grasshopper's feet are different. Or a locust feet are different. Lo let's type in locusts. Now, you see, it's jointed like this. See? Upward. See that? It's upward. That's why the scriptures say it's above their feet. Okay. It's not like it's not um, it's not sideways. It's upward. Okay. 
<clears throat> so, and they're built for jumping. Notice that this part is thicker. This is thicker and stronger, this part of their leg. This part is skinny, this part is thicker. Right? These are some common things that you'll notice with these lawful insects that we can eat. Okay? They have they they have thicker uh, parts on their hind legs. Okay? Meaning their rear legs, right? So let's read this again. It says, Yet these may uh, e e eat of every flying creeping thing. That's another thing. They have to be they have to fly. They have to have the ability to fly. Okay? This is this is where where you gotta go into which crickets, what they classify as, because they classify these things as crickets and, and whatever. Yo, know, they're of this family, they're of that family. No, no, no. Well, Esau is not the authority on those things. Okay? So called white man is not the authority on what is supposed to be classified as what. Okay? The Israelites, the children of the Most High, they were given that knowledge of what was the true classification. Going back to Adam, he was he was the one that named the animals. Okay. Adam named all the animals, man. Okay, which is our forefather. Okay. So we don't list the Esau's classifications. Okay, we have to we have to do our due diligence to see what uh, what is what. Okay, now. They have to fly. Not everything that they classify as cricket, uh, crickets, fly, right? Or lawful certain, uh, you know, or you know. Uh, so I'm dealing specifically with crickets. So I was looking into crickets a lot, like the the spider cricket, the the um, the uh, what's the other cricket they got? They got the spider cricket. There's a couple other crickets as well. The camel cricket. Those are not lawful to eat. Okay? Those are not lawful to eat. They don't fly. They don't have wings. They need to have wings. Okay? They need to have wings. You need to be able to see the wings on the particular insect. Okay? It says, Yet these may ye eat of every flying creeping thing that goeth upon all four. I mean, go, it goes on all their legs. Right? And they will use the two front legs to pick up things. So sometimes they're only on the four. Okay. And it says. Which. Have legs above their feet. Okay. To leap with all upon the earth. So the legs are created specifically to leap. Okay. To leap. Even these. Of them. Ye may eat. The locust. After his kind. But see now you got to. Don't go off of what Esau says. Is oh, this is a locust? Though. This is a type of locust. This is a type. No, no, it's what the heavenly Father said is 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 the uh, of the locust um, stock, okay? And the bald locust, um, after his kind, and the beetle after his kind. Nope, this is not correct. It's not supposed to say beetle because when you look at beetles, beetles do not fit these characteristics. Okay. Beetles do not fit this category. But I heard brothers used to break it down like that. Oh yeah, we can eat beetles. You can't eat beetles. Beetles are not are not lawful to eat. Okay. They have so called jointed legs, but these are not the type of jointed legs that the scriptures is speaking about. Okay, speaking about the jointed legs. That go upward, just like how we seen with the. Uh, I should I should keep. Well, actually, I have I have something here. You see this? You see how these these legs go upward like this? It's supposed to go upward like this. Okay, it's supposed to go upward like this. All right. Beetles legs don't do that. Okay. <clears throat> kind of like spider legs. Right. And another thing, another strike. Right. Is that they don't these are not they don't jump. They don't jump. They fly. They don't jump. They crawl or they fly. OK. Their legs are not built for jumping. Right. And there's one particular beetle that does jump, but it doesn't jump by its legs. OK. It only jumps when it's upside down. It doesn't jump through by its legs at all. OK. So 
this is not a lawful thing to eat. And roaches ain't lawful to eat. Roaches don't jump. Okay? The brothers say, oh, yeah, roaches, you know, we used to, you know, remember brothers used to say that, you know, oh, roaches, yeah. But I don't know about these roaches today. No, no, no. You can't eat no roach. Roach is not part of the dietary law. It's crickets, certain crickets, not all crickets, certain crickets, uh, 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 locusts, and grasshoppers. All of those families. Okay? And it's only certain, you know, you got to do check them out. They have to have all, they have to fit all these characteristics as well. Okay, so we're going through it. They have to be able to fly, meaning they have to have wings. You got to be able to see what, because you got some of these things. They don't. Some of these cl that's classified as. Let's come here. Uh, let's go to this one. Let's come here, right? You go to these types of crickets. Some of these don't have wings. This is not the Jerusalem cr cricket is not lawful. Okay, this is not. This is not even of the cricket family, man. I don't care what Esau tells. This is not of the cricket family. Okay, this is not the same as as, as, as the, than the camel cricket. This is not of the cricket family. Okay, this is not lawful. It's not. It looks kind of like it, but it's not lawful, because this doesn't have wings. This doesn't have wings. Crickets have wings. Okay, crickets have wings. All right, crickets have wings. So let's go back here. Okay, it says. Oh, let me read. Let me read something real quick. Let me read. Hold on. Let me read. No, no, no. Let's read this. Okay. Now I told you the camel cricket is not lawful, right? All right. So it says types of crickets. Uh, it says camel, right? Which also known as other names: sprickets, spider crickets, uh, and cave crickets. It has an appropriate nickname: spider cricket. That's because it has long legs like a spider. So imagine a jumping spider, right? And it kind of looks like a spider. It's not this one. I don't believe this. I don't believe this is it. This is just an image of a cricket. I don't believe this is um, the um, spider cricket, okay? It says, so imagine a jumping spider. Yikes. Its body is brown and it has uh, banded legs. It's also more slender than its cousin the camel cricket doesn't make a sound right you notice crickets always make sounds usually right usually they make sounds the camel cricket doesn't make sounds they don't have the same ability to rub their legs together like the typical house cricket yeah because they're different okay because they're not of that same family because these crickets don't chirp You'll have to see them to know they're there. That means they have extra time to infest your home. Okay, now when you go to a house cricket or other names, a cheetah domesticus, it says house crickets are yellow brown and have stripes across their head. They have six legs and wings that lay flat. Okay, so they got, so what, they got wings? And they got those type of uh, hind legs that are made for jumping. Okay, those jointed legs that are made for jumping. It says, this is the type you imagine when you hear cricket. They have a loud chirp, which the males use to attract mates. Okay, so on and so forth. Okay, so they're different. These two types are different, right? And the Jerusalem cricket is a whole nother story. That's not even... That's not of the same family as these as, as the, the the house cricket at all, okay, or the uh, field cricket, right? Which those are lawful, all right. Now the beetle, like I just showed you, they do not fit that characteristic. I shouldn't even have to go to the roaches. The roaches don't fit the, that char any, those characteristics at all, okay. Roaches don't fly. I don't believe roaches fly, but even if they do, they, they still don't fit the characteristics. They don't have the hind legs. They don't jump. They don't have the legs built for jumping, okay? They don't jump, right? Those are not, you can't eat that shit, okay? And it's, and it's good to know this because, like I said, when all hell breaks loose and you're in the field or, you know, or whatever the case may be, you at least you'll know how to identify something that may be lawful. The Lord may give you deliverance and you don't even know it's deliverance because you don't know that you can eat it. Oh, I don't know if I can eat that. Well, now 
you know, you can learn, <clears throat> you know, how to spot these things. Okay, it says, <clears throat> let's go back to, it says, even these, okay, I, I, which I read that, right? Which I said, the beetle. Now, let's go to the N NLV in a second. We'll go to the NLV. Let me just see if there's anything else. Okay, it says, but all other flying, creeping things which have four feet shall be an abomination unto thee, you. Like I said, they use their two front hands, right, to pick up things, right? Which is what we do. We use the, our hands to pick up things. And they, they'll use the other two, other four feet to, to, to stand upon while they're picking those things up. So when it says four feet, you know, Refer, is re referring to those four feet but they don't have four what they call quote-unquote legs they actually have six quote-unquote legs okay so if you want you cast by those two top legs as really uh arms if you will it says and for these ye shall be unclean whosoever touches the carcass of them shall be unclean until the even all right, so you kill a roach, yeah, you're unclean. You kill a spider, you're really unclean. Okay. It says... Mm -mm -mm. Okay, yeah, what I want to do is go to the NLT real quick. Let's go to the NLT. Let's go, over to, go to verse 20, and you're going to see kind of ch changes the wording. It says, uh, Leviticus eleven twenty. it says, You must not eat winged insects that walk along the ground. They are detestable to you. You may, however, eat winged insects that walk. Really, you can't eat no insect that walks upon the ground that doesn't fit these characteristics we're about to go into. Okay? It says, You may, however, eat winged insects. They got to have wings. Winged insects. That walk along the ground, right? And have jointed legs so they can jump. Jointed legs created for jumping. Okay. Show you show you a, show you a million uh examples. Okay, see these ones here? They're, they're made for jumping. This doesn't show you properly. See, these these they got those legs in the back that's made for jumping. Some and some of these things here are not lawful right like i sh like i uh like some of these these the, the the these bush some of the bush crickets are not lawful because some of them this one doesn't have wings some of them don't have wings okay you gotta check for wings they, some, they, some of these don't have wings you gotta look you gotta look you gotta be observant okay and these are clearly things that you don't just eat one and obviously you're not gonna be satisfied these are things you would gather in, in you know in the in abundance you know because they usually if I'm not mistaken, I believe they, they move in, for sure, locusts move in groups. Grasshoppers, I'm not too certain about, but you'd want to get them in abundance when they're all together, okay? I'm sure there's times where you could find them all together and you grab them up and, you know, you, you know, you, you know, you could, you know, put them together with some rice or something. I don't know. I don't know. I never, I never ate this stuff, okay? Ask Elijah or John the Baptist, he, he, you know, and he'll tell you, <laughs> okay? But I, I can't tell you because, you know, John the Baptist, he was known for eating locusts and honey, right? Wild locusts and honey. Matter of fact, let's get that, okay? So there's nothing wrong with it but because we know it's lawful. The Lord the Lord's not going to tell us we can eat some if, if it's not lawful, man. Oh, it's not wild locusts. Uh, this diet was locusts wild honey but uh, I don't know if it's locust with, a, with an S might be locust with an S actually it's wheat with locusts and wild honey okay so right this is Mark 1 and verse 
start at verse uh, 4. It says, John did baptize in the wilderness and preached the baptism of repentance for the remission of sins. And there went out unto him all the land of Judea and they of Jerusalem and were all baptized of him in the river of Jordan, confessing their sins. And John was clothed with camel's hair. That's another thing, right? When you read down into the law, I used to wonder if that would be unlawful to have camel's hair on, <clears throat> right? Because that's an unclean animal. But no, there's a law in that because you got to you gotta put it in water. You put you put the hair in water. Well, it depends. Was was the beast dead? It all depends. Did he get, if it was dead and he took it off the beast while it was dead, then you would have to put it in water and, you know, it would be unclean unto the even. <clears throat> but anyways, that's a whole other story. It says, and with a girdle of skin about his loins and he he did eat locusts and wild honey so so john the baptist he liked locusts he liked the taste of locusts okay and wild honey and i had i remember hearing that they taste like almonds or something like that or like nuts or something something along those lines like i said i don't know because i never had it if a brother pulls up with some locusts I don't know if I'll eat it. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll eat, try it just to try it, depending on how it was. I'm probably be asking a lot of questions, though. I don't know. Well, you know, it all depends. I got to look at it, you know, make, <laughs> make sure it's the right one. I don't know. It depends, right? We're not, we weren't raised eating that, but I trust what Yahweh Shem Shai has written. So it says, and preached, saying, There cometh one mightier than I after me, the latchet of whose shoes I am not worthy of. To stoop down and unloose, right? So anyway, so he ate locusts and wild honey, and honey is very, very beneficial, right? You had the elder in um in uh, Dallas, man. I can't his his name is hard for me. Ariazala, I I can't remember his name, but it's GMS um something Rome, something Rome on fire. He was doing a he did a lesson. A few weeks back on on the importance of eating honey you know that elder does great lessons all right so honey is important so he was eating honey and he was eating these locusts and locusts you know it got it got to have a good nutritional value to it right so anyways let's go back here it says you may however eat winged insects that walk along the ground and have jointed legs so they can jump the insects you are permitted to eat include all kinds of locust, ball locust, crickets. Notice it doesn't say uh, 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 beetles here. It says crickets and grasshoppers, okay? You can't eat beetles, okay? You look up beetles, those are not lawful, man. Okay, and that never really sat right with my spirit. Like, beetles, that the fuck, that the fuck, beetles, and roaches. I was like, God damn, hell no. I was like, hell to the fucking no, that can't be no lawful food to eat, right? But, but that, that's something that used to be said. Those are things that used to be said, but now the spirit has us going through it now, right? So it says the insects are permit are, are permitted. To, uh, you are permitted to eat include all kinds of locusts, ball locusts, crickets, and grasshoppers. Now you got to watch out, like I said, of what you know. He classifies certain things as crickets that are not of the same family. You got to see because it says after its kind. Now it's not according to what Esau says is its kind. It's according to what the scriptures say. Got to have wing. Got to be winged. Got to have wings, uh, right? Um, has to have uh, the jointed legs created for jumping. The same type of legs we showed you goes upward, and it has a thick part, a thick part of the legs, thick thighs, so to speak, okay? And it's able to jump, okay? So that's it, simple. See, the Lord created a distinction between those, those animals so that we can decipher them. Same thing with the... Uh, with the 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 the, clo the 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 split hoof and the cloven foot, he put those distinctions upon those animals so we can clearly identify them. The Lord did that on purpose so we can clearly. How about Shemuel Shai did that so we can clearly identify them so there's no confusion. Okay, you just have to know what you're looking for. It says all other winged insects that are walk along the ground are detestable. All other insects. Period. Didn't have to say winged. All other insects that walk upon the ground. Are the test but you're not supposed to eat period okay so 
I mean, that's pretty much it, man. I don't really have to go into to anything else. Like I said, you got to do your due diligence. See which ones have wings. See which ones don't. So on and so forth, man. Okay? Just because they may look similar to you, that don't mean they're lop. You got to check, do they have wings? Do they have wings? Do they jump? Do they have those hind legs that they're created for jumping? All right? See what I'm saying? So, yeah. So, Khan. So, Lo Willing, this was edifying to the elect. I give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, by Hashem, Dash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of great millstone salutations. Much love and respect to you, Akim, out there pushing this word out in truth and sincerity. Shalom.